No, you've been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin And I know it's never gonna end Good morning, good morning, wake up, wake up, get out of that bed. In one half mile, keep left on I-65 South towards downtown. Thanks, Abby. I appreciate you every day. Hey, well, it is Thursday morning and thanks for joining me on my journey to the Kentucky Derby. Yep. Um, it's Thursday, and there, is, there are events going on today, but I'm not there yet. Um, just like that, uh, stay to your left, Abby's going to say. Oh, she didn't say, but I was listening. Proceed on there she goes. South. So, we are here we are on our maiden voyage in the new rig, in the... The new and improved Shooting Star 2 also. <laughs> yes, I, you know, Shooting Star, that's what she is. She's my dreams. And so anyway, I slept in my rig for the first time last night. And it was great. The bed was really comfortable. I do have um, the foam topper that I had on my other bed and um, but it felt extremely it just felt so much softer you know than it has in the past I don't know why but maybe because I was just really tired I don't know not only is the bed very high for Danny it's very high for me I'm gonna need a stool to get my stool to get into just like my bed at home I use it after it's my bed at home is kind of steep I need to use this jewel to get in that one too so <laughs> you know it's a climb it's a climb you know but anyway so my hair is a little fuzzy today because um, it was raining and so foggy it was so foggy last night I had to pull over I, otherwise I would have been there I would have been at the uh, Boondockers Welcome Host location, which is right on the edge of Indiana and Kentucky. I should have been there. And, um, but I feel like I'm, you know how Gilligan and them felt? I, I mean, we don't know. We weren't there, but, you know, it is a TV show. But I feel like I, I'm like on a never ending four hour cruise. I should have been there already. I, um, it doesn't take that long to get to Kentucky from Illinois. I've made that drive so many times over the last, you know, 45 years. Well, probably I've been driving it since I was 18. So anyway, um, yeah, it was just weird just was taking forever issues and then the fog rolled in so for some reason it was not meant to be for me to get there last night and I accept that <laughs> and so I am we, we slept in the parking lot at Love's and we're back on the road and I need to you know I need to go to Walmart and get some groceries or you know somewhere to get groceries and I need to return a few things that I I got for my camper that won't work now because they don't fit some baskets for the cabinet so things don't spill and they don't fit so I'm going to take those back because they're not cheap you know um, and get a refund and I realized that actually those shoe boxes those plastic shoe boxes will fit right in this closet and I could or in this cabinet and I could actually stick things in there and so that they won't still spill or fall out of the cabinets you know in transit 
Um, but and then I spent, um, you know, when you get something new, it takes a while to get things, you know, organized and get things figured out. And because of the weather, I could not get my deadbolt to work last night. And I'll be, I wasn't going to sleep without being able to lock my door. But I was able to lock it finally. But it took a long time. I actually had to take the plate inside the door jam or whatever you want to call it. And it was on upside down. And I had to change that around when I realized that that was the problem. And, um, but I still had an issue. And then I finally was able to at least lock it from the inside with the deadbolt. And then this morning, um, I was able to, when I just left and locked up the camper, I was able to lock the deadbolt, which was good. Otherwise, I was going to have to stop at an RV place and say, hey, can you help me out? Maybe I would have needed to change the lock or something. I don't know. So, it's fixed. I did it. And it's foggy, gloomy. But we're going to the Derby, so come with me. Yes, in Indiana.
house. Danny and I were taking a walk. They got a little pond. There's the street where we came in. And look at what's back here behind the house that I am welcome to use. Yep, I'm welcome to use it. Here it is. It's the outhouse. Yeah, so I can use this place instead of using my camper. It's vacant. Let's go. I got Danny. We're going to go. She's going to come with me. Let's see if I can get it open. Oops. These people are really nice, the hosts and hostess. Really nice. Aw. Uh, you got this. How cute. Oh, let's check this out. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's some corn cobs. And look at that cute. Oh, I love this sink. It's adorable. Wow. And the little teepee holder. If you don't want to use the corn cobs. And a toilet. Ooh, let's see, there's a light. Oh, a light. Oh, how pretty. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. Yeah. There I am. I love this thing. It's so cute. And there's Danny and I. <gasps> Danny and I. Hi. Oh, look at the horseshoe with a towel hanger. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, look at that. There's a guest book. Oh, oh here's a, oh, a book of outhouses. I guess it tells you you get to see famous outhouses. Oh, some little essentials that you might need in there, female stuff. And uh, extra toilet paper. And look at that guest book. Uh-oh, is there a pen? There's a pen in here. We'll have to sign the guest book. Okay, let's see what it says. I didn't bring a pen. And I didn't see one in here. Let's see if there's a pen. Nope. Oh, that means that the last person here took the pen. That's okay. Let's see what it says. Let's sit down for a few minutes. Well, you could even keep the door open and look outside if you wanted to. Let's see. I can't really see out there, but see. Here it is outside. I can see outside if I wanted to. I can see a stack of wood out there. So it says, you got this. Let's see what it says on here. If you need to get some air in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. All right, what's it say? Questions. Whoops. Hold on. See? Yep, there's water. And does it flush? Does it? It flushes. This is the cutest thing. It's don't forget to turn the light off. This is in Hotel Motel 6. This is adorable. Okay. How cute. And they see we've got lights for the nighttime. And if it's full, see, this was occupied. We're all done. There's a tree house, a real tree house. Yep. Cool. The owner was showing me one of the original trees on the property was planted in 19, 
54. That means it's 65 years old. But it's not very big. You have oak trees and all different kinds of trees. Isn't it gorgeous? We've got 20 something acres here on this property. No nickname for the property. No nickname. A little gazebo on the water. And a little pier on the other side with a bench. And there were horses at the entry. I don't know if I got them. I tried to video them. Really cool. I love it. I would love to live here. Let's go take care of our camper. Look at how pretty it is here at nighttime. So the host and hostess have gone out for a walk and I'm going to go take a shower. They offered me the opportunity. I mean, I have my own shower, but they said I could take a shower in their outdoor shower. So I said, well, sure, why not? Might as well. So I'm taking you with. Now, there it is. Isn't that cool? Right there is the outdoor shower. So let's see how that goes. I'm not singing, Jeremiah was a bullfrog. I'm, my name is not Kevin, but you never know. <laughs> 